Ladies and gentlemen, Ali, Ali, uh, wish to welcome everyone, but before I do, let's give a round of applause to Larson for entertaining us with some wonderful music this afternoon. Thank you, Larson. Um, I will mix my comments in both uh, English and Palawan. So if my Palawan is better than my English, then I have succeeded. If my English is better than my Palawan, then I have failed, because <laughs> the Palawan is my native tongue. Anyway, um, first and foremost, um, welcome to the drop-off bar and grill, and welcome to the ceremony welcoming the canoe, the voyage, Alinga no Maisu, that you see uh, here at the dock next to me. Uh, the purpose of today's event is to welcome uh, Cesario, the, the navigator, the captain, and, and his crew. And I won't go into the details about the voyage, but the purpose of this program is to welcome him. So in doing so, it is a great privilege on behalf of the Micronesian Voicing Society. Our president, Chalum Et Pisong, is here. Uh, our member, Madhanabogada, is here. Uh, myself and Ms. Tinar Uhur are here. And we want to, uh, on behalf of Micronesian Voicing Society, uh, recognize and welcome His Excellency President Surround Weeps Jr. Thank you for joining us today. We're also very blessed uh, that we have the Council of Chiefs here, uh, seated to my left. We have Ramsik, uh, we have Beo, we have Uora uh, Ete, um, and we have. Uh, uh, Nirturong, uh, Warios, Niraged, and El Dial Angels Eligras Nurap. The other day I went to meet with the governors, and Nurap was there, and I called him governor. Today I call him Nurap. Uh, Nurap is a chief of the island of Sonsorol, that are also known for uh, breeding uh, navigators and canoe uh, carving. It's an art form that has been passed on to Palauans as well. In addition, we're really blessed to have the Vice President of the Senate, the Vice Speaker of the House that are here, Karai Mariur and Lucio Miraiwet. And we have uh, several senators and governors with here uh, with us. We have uh, the Chairman of the Governors, uh, Governor uh, Paloy here. Uh, thank you for gracing us. Uh, we have the Chairman of the Speakers Association, um, what a group, but most importantly, um, it is really um, a great honor for this occasion to welcome our members from the Diplomatic Corps. Um, we have Mr. Andrew McLean, Charge Affairs of the United States Embassy here. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we're very happy you're back again because you sent off the canoe. Um, we have um, um, Her Excellency, uh, Richelle Turner, Ambassador of the Aus Australia to Palau. Um, Ambassador, we're very happy you could make it today and uh, welcome and means a whole lot to us that you could be here. Uh, we have uh, His Excellency Ambassador, His Excellency Hiroyuki Orisa Orikasa, Orikasa-san Orikasa -san <laughs> from the Embassy of Japan. Uh, we are honored to have you with us today. Um, I do not see uh, our friend Jessica Lee from Taiwan, but I s also want to recognize her. And um, thank you for being with us today. And by the way, we also have uh, the Honorary Council of the Republic of Palau to Greece. The Honorable Panos Kirdinis is with us with his wife and his family. Uh, Panos, can you stand up so they can recognize you? Thank you for joining us. Hmm? I don't think I have forgotten anybody, but um, uh, we'll get the program going. And uh, as we proceed with the program, I will recognize uh, more people. But since we are in the state of Koror, I would like to especially recognize Vice Speaker Uel Saoas, representing the governor and the state of Koror with us. Welcome, uh, Uel. Thank you for being here. 
Um, at this time, I would like to ask um, Adal Bayrang Natibang, Pukul Nitra Adal Bayrang Natibang, Ephraim Mira Ite, uh, to come and offer us a prayer uh, to thank the Almighty for the smooth voyage that is the reason why we're here today. Mr. Nira Ite, could you do us uh, the honors of a, a prayer? May I, I ask everyone to have a silence, have a silence for a word of prayer. For the Tlaikro Guye, the Bukum Teerigid and Ang Lungu, the Lulu, for the Mamma Dios and our Babuadas, the Sabal Tigrem, the Sra of Oop, Dios, Lulu Meope, Lul Sobel, the Magadre, the Raigar Rogui, the Narayana, the Mautum, the Magin Artian, the Kamagin of Tigar Mam, I give Martia Adam. Luelga me outke adam tirgal adrabgal le adam Dios tirgal tirgal adrabgal le adam modengel wasay te Dios be aygal ble belem o magal le meliwekra aygal yuns mutial belul adrabokir magasirenga ble belem adam Dios el mute adam tirgal yidel adam direkal mute el mosi aklaumra ngarumam le wasay gamra el Dios lul meo le ngarnya order gaur aygal ble belem mutial belul ad diga mam el modengi mo gamra gaur di adam Dios aygal I can play by Lemme Dam, I'll talk about Lemme de Ledam, Narnia Moktegarni Adam Dios. My Gimraldin Artel Beclade, Olinit Adam Dios, Bolomol, Molomok Tamatar Tirgal Adramal, Telurio Lorurni Maskul, Bolsbel Adam Direkal Mosukoma, Adra Galuns, Mospe, I gagidle, I gagidle play by Lem, a Direkal Bolsbel Mosmisi, a Clomer Ramam Merga Adam Dios. Come the Game of Tegarmam, Maki the Modars and Mergao, the Olingit Mildirical Sub Elmo, the Malay, the Moktegar Gaul Giram, Igayam Lumo Amedam, Modars and Molingit, Madam Clela Edal Malgame, Lesius Christo, Yam Nadal Giram Losoblam. Amen. I would be remiss if I didn't uh, also recognize uh, His Excellency, former President Chan Son Tori Byong, who uh, has joined us. Thank you, Mr. President, for joining us on this occasion. In uh, Palawan tradition, when there's a public occasion, um, a chant is offered to ask the blessings of the ancestors and, and the Almighty. So in, a, in accordance with that tradition, I would like to call upon a young man, uh, Okif Kokichi, to offer for this occasion a Palawan chant. Okif, may please come forward. Mark Mau. Oh, the swok. 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 Oh, Just a few words of summary on what the chant uh, uh, talks about. It basically calls upon the ancestors to bless the voyage so that the voyage will be blessed with good wind and smooth and uh, be a peaceful voyage as you cross the oceans. So that's basically the, the lyrics of the, of the chant. Uh, it's my great honor and pleasure to welcome my very special friend, Elsias Shalom et Pison, but before coming here, um, he is the president of the Micronesian Voyaging Society. Um, this canoe um, was carved in Hawaii 
by the Polynesian cultural, uh, Polynesian voyaging society, and was sailed from Hawaii through the islands of Micronesia and went to a small island by the name of Satawal, an atoll in the island of Yap in Micronesia, which is home to a well-known master navigator, Ma Mao Pialuk. Mao Pialuk is the navigator that helped the Hawaiians and the Polynesians restore the knowledge of navigation by tradition and by stars. So for many decades, the Polynesians lost the art of navigation and they also became reliant on compass and GPS and the art was lost. So they searched throughout the world which person may be able to help them to regain this knowledge. And they found a man by the name of Mao Pialuk on the island, in the islands of Yap in uh, Satawal. And they asked him to help them uh, regain their knowledge. And they built the canoe and they sailed the canoe from Hawaii for the first time in hundreds of years, only using the navigation of the stars and wind and wave all the way to Tahiti to prove the voyage that the Polynesian people living in Hawaii originated in the Tahitian islands and sailed back to Hawaii. And based on that, there was a revival of preserving this culture of navigation and seafaring. And this canoe, before Ma Pialuk passed away, the Hawaiians sailed it, carved it, and sailed it to Satawal to bestow the canoe upon the Mao Pialuk as a gift of their appreciation for teaching them the art of navigation and seafaring. As a result, Mao Pialuk felt that if the canoe was deeded to the people in Palau, it would have a better chance of teaching young people this art of navigation. And therefore, the Micronesian Voyaging Society was born to accept the canoe and has been working with the canoe uh, and with the Palau Community College uh, from the beginning until now. And that is part of the reason why we're here. But if I could say, um, Elsa Oas, Vice Speaker, our society um, are really indebted to the leadership of Shalom Et Pison Elshias. He's the cornerstone of our society when we need help. One time the canoe uh, broke down between Yap and Palau, and it's always Shalom Elshias who sends his crew to rescue. So it's really a great honor, if I may call upon our president, Mr. Et Pison, to say a few words on this special day. Mr. Et Pison Elshias. Ali, <laughs> Ali, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, honored guest, traditional leaders, diplomats, and government officials. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. <clears throat> Today we are here to welcome Alingano Maisu and its crew who have returned to Palau last Tuesday 
after a long trip to Ngulu, Yap, <coughs> Satawal, Saipan, and then return to Yap, on to Ngulu, and then back to Palau. It took 100 days to be. <coughs> this is three months and eight days. Let us give them a round of applause for returning home, safe and sound. <clears throat> no mother navigation instrumentation guided. Darling, on my suit. They follow the horizon. They relied on their understanding of the nature's clue, the stars, wind, ocean swells, <clears throat> birds, and Cesario's knowledge. <clears throat> and they sailed across 2,200 nautical miles to six islands in the Pacific. We hope to hear some of their stories from the crew, students, and Cesario himself about their sleepless nights and the challenges that they conquered on this voyage. I hope the success of this journey will inspire Palauans and Micronesian students, or anyone who's interested to learn, to rediscover and revive this unique tradition navigation. Thank you and enjoy the afternoon and the rest of our program. Micronesian Voyaging Society had pre committed to build a very strong bond and relationship with the Palau Community College. And we are really honored that this uh, voyaging and seafaring uh, is being taught by Cesario uh, at the college. So if you want to get any college credits, you're welcome to join Palau Community College. But, you know, the graduation for this um, uh, course of navigation cannot be given unless you've been on the canoe and have sailed across the blue ocean from one island to another. And only then can you be bestowed a degree. So. Some of you, especially, I see my friend from uh, the ambassador of Japan, his uh, head is going up and down, and he's asking himself, how is it that Alan Seed is talking about navigation over there? And I, I, I didn't tell him, but I'm all, I've also crossed the oceans as well. <laughs> so that's why I'm able to stand here. Many, many years ago, 29 years ago, I sailed with Cesario's father, Mao Pialuk, from Yap to Palau. Cesario was a younger man on that voyage, and the voyage was, can the Yapis people once again repeat their feat in history by sailing from Yap on an outrigger canoe, a much smaller canoe than this, to come to Palau and carve the stone money and bring it to Yap. So I was very fortunate at the time the late High Chief Ibadul introduced me to the Yapis chiefs and they accepted me to be part of that journey. And I sailed from Yap to Palau and I must say to you, it was an experience that will go with me throughout my life. And now we have Cesario uh, continue teaching. So the Micronesian Voicing Society are very honored that Palau Community College has become a key partner on keeping this tradition alive by teaching it to young men and women. So I won't go to the details of this program, but it is really my honor to call upon Ogredeu, Dr. Patrick Talay, the president of PCC, to come and give you a brief history of this uh, course and this uh, teaching of the traditions of navigation and seafaring. May we welcome Dr. Talay to the stage, please.
will it see the silver cloud? So I'll, uh, I'll begin by uh, uh, providing on all our behalf a response to that chant, because in ceremony like this, it has to be responded to. And then I will do some brief history and some thank yous, and then we'll conclude with the rest of the remarks. Ema dama la soya, ale rubgalle deng matni, e adatal bagalle, e ngungi le mandiag de goli yang. Ema la de gole, e takmo adal bor ko de som, malosri ya de som. Bailar de gole, e doi gal mu roi diyan. Okay, thank you. And then let me... Uh, me turong tam la modong or tri ra clear arbe kladam de gudo gyan klem e rubak. E boko mu ele ngal adal bayam la mgo dongay bedul marak lai. We're also very uh, fortunate this afternoon to have uh, gracing this occasion, uh, the Honorable Yap Van Herden, Regional Coordinator for the United Nations Office. So thank you for being with us uh, today. I'd like to say some uh, thank you. So first, uh, thank you to the government and people of Palau, Mr. President, uh, Vice President of the Senate and the Senators, Vice Speaker of the House, and members of the House of Delegates, thank you for your support to PCC and for the Voyaging Society here in Palau with your with appropriations to the college. I'd like to also thank uh, the government and the people of YAP and the FSM for uh, accepting and then clearing the canoe as it made its poets through Colonia Ngulu, the island of Ngulu, and then YAP, and from YAP to the other islands all the way to Sadawal and then return to Saipan. I'd like to extend our appreciation to the governor and the people of Northern Mariana Islands for their hosting of uh, Alinganyo Maisu, Cesario, and the crew while they were in the CNMI. Thank you and Sisu Maasi. I'd like to thank the United States Coast Guard, McLean. They knew where Maisu was located because uh, Cesario was almost required every six hours to press the spot. And when he did, we were able to share it with the Lieutenant Commander Igosumar, who is, by the way, is also from the CNMI. So they were able to assist us if we needed their help. So, and this, as uh, Adelbai correctly pointed out, at one time during this uh, storied 14-year relationship between the college and the Boy Ching Society, we have had to rely on uh, Coast Guard once because the right side of this canoe once took all the water and the canoe tilted about 280 miles from Palau. And I have to tell this story whenever I get a chance to tell. It was 2 a.m. when that happened and I got a call from six, at 6 a.m. And my first uh, question to Cesario is, was, why did it take you to make that long? I said, oh, President, I was worried you were still sleeping. The canoe had sank and the guy waited five hours to make the call. But uh, thank you, Cesario, for your patience and for allowing me to sleep additional five hours before you call the house. But after we discussed it with the marine law, uh, maritime and marine law at, in Palau, we contacted the U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, Harwar Malik was in the southwest island in the state of Hato'o Bay they were able to connect with the United States Coast Guard. So from the phone call at 6 a.m. to when we welcomed the crew at the port, it was 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. That's all it took. So we wanna, we're very grateful for the United States Coast Guard because although we don't use this non-instrument, modern instrument in these voyages, there are families, there are parents, there are wives, there are husbands of the people on the canoe and they want to be reassured that they're safe out there. So we're very grateful for all these uh, people. I want to thank the people of the FSM. I know it was their transition year, um, week, when the canoe left. So Cesario, as he would attest later, 
they had a difficult time clearing a yap. I had to remind yap, hey, you don't have an immigration. The F We're dealing with FSM. This is Palau and FSM, not Palau and yap. And to their credit, they said, go ahead and send the, the diplomatic note to us. And as soon as they got a copy of the deep note, Cesario was cleared to depart yap. So we're very grateful for that. And now for the people of the CNMI. When they go on the voyage, uh, President Weeps, we work with these companies along the way for provisioning. So, yep, it's YCA. So as soon as they arrive, we know how to deal with everything that they need in the canoe. I did that with the CNMI, and I got a reprimand from the office of the governor for almost the 10th time. CNMI is a community with people with lots of food and water. Please don't do that to us. Allow us to provision the canoe so it will return. So, thank you very much. I know Gregoria is here, so she will convey our appreciation when she returns to to the CNMI. There's a paddle going around. Every time there's a voyage, we bring a paddle and the members of the voyaging group will sign one side. We have a group that left, 11 left here all the way to Sadawal and Saipan, and 12 return. I think only five, four, five people are the same ones who left here uh, 100 days ago. And the rest changed. So we have people who Where's Leslie, who flew in from Hawaii to board Yap, and uh, Rilang Roberto, who flew in from Palau, and Trudy and Dylan, Dylan, the youngest person, they flew in from Palau uh, to Yap, and then boarded the canoe, and then came over. So we're very grateful. Adelbay Alan Sid has shared the story, but I remember that one morning when Salum at Pison came to the college and said, I think we need to work together. He said, uh, yes, we can work together. We need to work to help uh, bring uh, Maisu to Palau. Okay, who's going to bring Maisu to Palau? We're creating a society. Okay, what's a society called? It's called the Micronesian Voyaging Society. We're going to create it. We're going to bring Cesario. And if you don't mind, we can fly him in next week. So Cesario came in on a charter day about 14 years ago, and we've been here since. I want to also take this opportunity to thank Florentina, the woman in the red right next to Cesario. She's been raising all the children while Cesario has taken all these 14 voyages uh, uh, all around the ocean. I remember one day when Dylan left as a tender five or six year old in 2016, right in this, and she was kneeling and talking to to the sun. Uh, this is on before they left to Fespat in Guam. Uh, it was explained to me what the meaning of that. It would be a goodbye if they would be lost at sea. She would have said her formal goodbye. Now, which mother would do, do that? Well, Florentina, so big round of applause to uh, Florentina. The first post ceremony, Alderbay Alan Sid uh, talked about uh, graduation. So they have what they call a post ceremony. So in the summer of 2019, uh, Grand Master Navigator Ali Halialur and Cesario conducted the first post ceremony on the island of Palau at PCC Diangal, Diangarai uh, Dedra. Those who know the history of Palau know the value of that uh, Diangal, Rai Dedra. They were able to bestow on three Palawans a Po. One unfortunately passed away this year, and then we have two. I'm not sure if uh, Frank Mario and uh, see if uh, Wayne Adelbay are here, but those are the two po from, from Palau, and they're very grateful uh, for that. I have to say something about uh, Miano, who has been with uh, Cesario, uh, Mr. Edpisong, and Dr. Yano. When Cesario came with uh, Maisu, Miano came with him. And Miano has been a very good lieutenant to, that's my own term, I don't know what the term is for them, but Miano has been with Cesario every turn of the every every voyage he has been there and uh, I don't know what the future holds for him uh, Miano has uh, has married his wife is in Boston and he's here uh, you know any uh, long distance relationship is tough so, but we thank uh, uh, Miano for being on uh, Cesario's side uh, all this uh, time Madalbay uh, had mentioned, uh, Alan Seed had mentioned uh, the fishing out right 
just about where we're standing when uh, when the Boy Polynesian Voyaging Society gave, gave the gift to, Boy to Cesar Yo and to Mao a P.I. look, and, they, and his exact word, what Nainoa was, your father was able to help us feast our, feast our tradition from the bottom of the sea that we've lost for 700 years. Just 300 years shy of a millennia. So we're very grateful for that. I mentioned the July 2009 because at that time, 2019, Cesario was granted a Grand Master Navigator. The post ceremony elevated these people to a navigator in status and he was elevated up. So we're very grateful uh, for that. So this uh, voyage took them through, remember Super Typhoon Mauer? Prior to si Super Typhoon Mauer, the, this convergence of the wind pulled all the wind from the Pacific and they were left in doldrums for about seven days. Seven. Uh, the sun went up and set it for seven days. So they had to put to Ngulu in order to get uh, water. So we're grateful for the owners of Ngulu, uh, if they will show this uh, Kamagar. And uh, we thank uh, the people of Yap for allowing them to stop there to get their water. They brought enough water to go to Yap, but then when you hit the doldrums, I mean, you cannot go anywhere, you stay in the same place. That's what happened. And finally, the canoe itself, Alinganyo Maisu. Some of you have read so many things written about Maisu and navigation. You go to YouTube. Canoe was named by Cesario's father, Dr. Mao Piailu. That's how I got to know him. We graduated the same year. We're not classmates, but he was conferred an early doctorate degree the year I graduated from the University of Hawaii. That's my only connection to him, not like uh, Adelbai who sailed uh, with him from Yap. And uh, asking him what the name meant, so it's a name of a strong wind. So when they put the moratorium and harvesting the breadfruit, which is uh, the basic livelihood of all the islands, no one touches that. Unless the tree is shaken by a storm and it falls on the crown and people can take them. So his naming of the canoe meant that in his own words, it was a way it was difficult for the school of navigation in their islands, where a young school and the people of Sadawal and the Caroline Island to share it outside their mounds. So we're grateful for him for making that uh, analogy of Sagan breadfruit so people can share, sharing the knowledge of navigation. So we will forever be grateful to Dr. Mao Piailuk. So with that, Adelbai, thank you very much. Thank you all. Rubgul Bela, Waman Nomsaul, Madrangbuk, who has been there from the very beginning. Waman Nomsaul, Mem Katangartiang. Thank you, Ogredeu, Dr. Patrick Tele. Ogredeu mentioned um, our good friend Cesario, um, who's our master navigator. Uh, but I just want to share that we have a board member with us today, none other than Dr. Victoriano. He's the guy that looks very Japanese. <laughs> uh, but Dr. Yano um, is one of the founders of the MBS, but when Cesario moved to Palau to start this um, project, Dr. Yano donated his home for him to live in and, and work for the, the voyaging. So we really uh, owe Dr. Yano a debt of gratitude. The only problem, uh, Governor of Melkiok with the house, is Cesario was producing many, many children, and the house became too small because there's so many kids. And uh, as a result, we moved him to another land and, um, and home in Nermid. Uh, again, a donation of uh, our chairman, uh, Mr. Epison. Uh, but we're really grateful that Cesario's children have uh, mostly been born and raised here. One of his uh, son, is named uh, Moss, who is named by the High Chief Reclai after High Chief Reclai's uh, father. So we're really happy to have Cesario not just uh, an employee, but really a part of the tradition and the family. 
given that Dr. Talay has given us a good uh, overview of the program, I think it's now appropriate uh, on this special day to welcome His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Palau, Surang Alwibs Jr., to come and grace this occasion with his kind words. Mr. President, may we have the honor, please. Governors, relators, members of the diplomatic corps. Uh, and it's great to see you, Mr. Yap, uh, joining us. Uh, I mean, we're here really to celebrate uh, the return uh, or the completion of this amazing voyage. You know, I was, uh, first of all, uh, we have to be thankful to God for the journey that was safe, and they all made it back safely. Uh, as uh, Dr. Tele shared, uh, you know, we were thinking of you when Mawar was raging. Uh, and, uh, you know, I know how it is out on a boat when the storm is raging. Uh, you know, I have a story I share when I was young in Ponape and we were returning from Ant Island, and all I remember was the waves went to the sky. <laughs> and when we had returned, it was uh, right before the day before the typhoon. But it takes a lot of courage. Uh, it takes uh, skill, it takes uh, patience, and I know you sat out there when it, uh, for seven days without uh, wind. But uh, Mother Abod was sharing with me that uh, it's important when you, before the voyage, when you leave, you pray. And one of the prayers is to pray for bad weather. I understand that. Is that right, Cesario? And so... Uh, the bad weather is so that you have strong winds pushing you, right? And uh, we're grateful that you were able to be back here uh, last Tuesday uh, so that we can celebrate today. You know, today is really a celebration of uh, the voyage, the, the crew, and Cesario and your team on, on what you have done, but also a celebration of what the Micronesian Voyaging Society has done. So I really want to take this opportunity and, and thank uh, uh, well, she asked President Ed Pisong and uh, uh, the entire uh, uh, Micronesian Navigating Society uh, for uh, ensuring the continuation of this very important uh, part of our culture. You know, uh, I was uh, in Korea <laughs> And I was uh, had a presentation by the Boston Consulting Group, and um, it was humbling for me to hear them tell us uh, that uh, Palau has the highest per capita, one of the highest. I, I don't know if it's the highest, but per capita uh, uh, consumption of carbon uh, because everything we do, we use fuel from our power to our boats, and so. Being able to revive 
something that's so uh, important for our culture, but not only that, brings us back to using what God has given us, what nature provides for us. Uh, not burning fossil fuels. I mean, to go 2,200 miles without uh, uh, burning fuel is, is what we should all be doing. How do we figure out ways that we reduce our carbon footprint and, and make sure that we continue to pass this important knowledge on to our children? So Cesario, thank you for your commitment and dedication to making sure that this continues to be transferred to the generations to come. Uh, and, and you know, it's, it's great to see the young men, especially uh, Dylan, who was young when he went to FESPAC and still the youngest member of the crew. So it's uh, important that we pass what we know to our children. And I, you know, I really um, thank you for uh, uh, keeping this floating school, as they said in, uh, I think it was in the paper in, uh, in uh, Saipan. And uh, it really is a floating school. Uh, so today, uh, we celebrate uh, really using what God gave us, the stars, the winds, the currents, and, and what, what we can do without technology. Uh, you know, I, we're so reliant on the GPS, on depth finders, and I think it was just a few weeks ago that uh, in Palau we experienced the lack of internet. And uh, maybe we need to do that more often. So we can learn to spend more time with nature and understanding uh, what we have around us. Uh, but, you know, we've, come, we've become so reliant on technology that we, we lose uh, our abilities to do the most important things and to make use of what God has given us and to use it sustainably. So thank you. Uh, today is a celebration and I want to just uh, uh, join everyone in Palau and give the crew a big round of applause. I want to give the Micronesian uh, Voyaging Society a big round of applause. Because without them working together, we would not be here to be able to celebrate. So, Omran Musulang, the Dios of Makhlatri, the Rowing. Kuala Nirturong, Tial Dangarangia, Sedul Mora, Atletelada Ibelans, Pedro Vasir Dangarad Yangl, Tangwai Se Uor Ete India. Tia do dengara imora dinglel oror di tia dinglelas ligra elsia sang klela kan tia sile drop off bar and grill di until gib lungila tia diang elang as ligra speaker ablo olme ku ngak mengima am asringi ngak am asringa ka ora melim lima der se se sel wine ma aktiol gitte wong or eter mo ablo ngu am asringa olme ra diang alu katuku kalim a korong ng ilang alin di katangara diang le mayro gulbelaw mo dakora di mukabakaklaro gultoy sa pedro dakora di ang lagli tiel bolme ada ng ilaget ang mga akmorso akmoong a ogite vice president tras senet amlora senet lolni tras president tras senet lwa sa bmdu sesay e albong e tumlo adadu ilbuto ng senator sa di tilbir na dalang lilwa sesay Ngel ko tels al ader gid ngay yamom tergit. Leng diakal matamlo ka kargera ader longlir. Emlom tigro alegra umi umi senators ng bau. El nga ader abagal mla minister mla ma matengit toko ra environment el matengit toko ra tao mungmalt marunguk el mom o lumagdong ra senator umi ng bau. Montera Senator, Governor. So I'll just translate what I said uh, into English. Uh, we asked the President of the Senate to uh, come and give a few remarks today, but um, they were able to have a, a conference among the senators, and they decided that they are going to select 
the bravest of the senators, the seafarer of the senators, a former minister and uh, men of the environment and men of the seas. So it's my great honor to uh, call upon uh, Senator Umi Snobao on behalf of the Senate. Let's welcome him. So, President Whips, uh, Vice President uh, Mariur, Ma Vice Speaker uh, uh, House of Delegates, Ma Diregal Rogul Governors, Ma State Preps El Gartiang, and the Board of uh, Micronesian Voyaging Society, and the Diplomatic Corps, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a great honor to represent the Senate at the Palau uh, National Congress to say a few words. But first of all, let's uh, all welcome uh, Captain Cesario and the crew for a, a safe journey back home. I know uh, every time uh, we welcome uh, Alingano Maisu, we are indeed celebrating our culture and reliving our, our way of life. Again, it proves that uh, we sailed and found these islands. We didn't accidentally come here. <laughs> so I want to tell you a, a story about this. Uh, nearly 25 years ago, I, uh, I did my undergraduate studies at the University of Hawaii. And I happened to uh, take a class called the Pacific Navigation. And it was a uh, class by Dr. Ben Finney. I'm sure uh, Former Minister Tinaru probably knows him very well. He was one of the first, he was one of the crew on the first voyage in 1976 from Hawaii to Tahiti. A lot of people don't know some of the details from that trip. As you all know, when that trip happened, when they made it to uh, Tahiti, Cesario's dad, Mao Pialuk, uh, got on a plane and flew back to Micronesia. And I'm not sure many of you know that. So when they sailed back the canoe, they had to use a modern instrument. I guess the story behind that was uh, there was some crew on that voyage that didn't believe that. Uh, so they had instruments with them. When Mao found out about it, I guess uh, to say that he was upset is probably a, an understatement. He, uh, because the first thing that you taught is you have to trust what you taught to do. And you have to rely on those, uh, what you've learned. So it's uh, what really, uh, so he called me up. He actually saw me and says, uh, where, where are you from? And I said, I'm, I'm from Palau. So he said, uh, no, I'm, I'm glad that you're taking this class. And, you know, at the time uh, in Hawaii, you didn't hear about Mao a lot. They talk about Polynesian culture, uh, voyaging society, but of course they didn't uh, quite. So it was an eye-opening for me and also made us proud when we were actually walking on campus that we actually gave back, we gave something back to Hawaiians and the Polynesians. So of course that uh, made us, particularly myself and uh, Micronesians that were attending school at the time. So um, certainly what he, what uh, Mao Pia looks as serious that gave to Hawaiians it's certainly a gift that uh, us, uh, that we all should be proud of as uh, Micronesians. <clears throat> Again, this kind of uh, voyaging is certainly a celebration of our culture, and I certainly want to thank uh, the Micronesian Voyaging Society for continuing the program with the uh, Palau Community College. And I want to thank you and uh, the Senate uh, stands ready to support uh, Micronesian Voyaging Society in your future endeavors. Omal Masauro Gui, Malklo Latangakle, Lomte Era, Vice President Tangatiang, Masenet, Lukmok Musese, 
Om Sulak ya kita turun kami maru bukut bela ya matang aku Sulak. Thank you, uh, Senator Skabau, for your kind comments. Um, when um, the House got gathered, Mr. President, when the House gathered to choose who among the members of the House would represent them to come and speak today, they didn't look for the strongest men. They looked for the wisest young men who knew where to gather the food from the taro pots because every, <laughs> every canoe, every voyage must be well fed. And we know that I'm League is a rich uh, land of uh, taro. So uh, the complementary uh, talents of the Senate and the House is very appropriate today because everybody needs each other to make a journey successful. And with that, may I please call upon the Honorable Warren Umetaro uh, to represent the House of Delegates. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, Adalbarata. If uh, just to add a little bit to what he said, uh, in case you're wondering why the rain stopped, it's because uh, Mother Ngobogoda and I are here. Uh, of course, always thankful to God for the blessings that uh, we receive each day. E o gordeu, mo mo dado a del baratang ing mo o el shalom mo president twips ing mo senator sugbau del balira adra dao ing agamberman el lider ala speaker sabido ala stasio musulang. Thank you everyone for the opportunity to join in this welcome home ceremony of the Alingano Maisu and its crew. It is indeed a joyous occasion, an occasion for celebration. The Mua at the Alra Ulel di Osusra Ibdul Maraklai. President Twips, Rubogol Balao Logonget, Walishyasa, Shalom, our Bekel members, our Micronesian Voyaging Society, and uh, members of uh, the Diplomatic Corps. Welcome. It is indeed a privilege to be among all of you this afternoon. Did I go? We both recognize that the Nakul Gray Marior Vice President Rasenet, Senator Solonge, Vice Speaker Rahouse, Blue Show, Nirai Wet, my delegate Solonge, my Rekel Kol, the Nakla, Malungit Militasi. I am indeed thankful to be a part of this significant event that, of course, as has been stated, preserves and brings forth into all of our future the treasure of traditional navigation and the values that strengthen our very unique Palawan character. I commend the Micronesian Voyaging Society for its commitment to making this so and its continuing efforts to pass this on to our children way into the future. 
I wish you all the best, always. I want to thank uh, the captain and crew of the Maisu for completing the voyage. I trust that uh, everybody that was on this vessel not only walks away with traditional navigation skills to pass on to our young, but lessons in life, in character building, lessons of courage and strength and patience. patience. Complete trust in each other. I'm thinking, and I've never been on a voyage as this, but I suppose you learn to trust completely. If there's 12 of you, the other 11 people on this vessel. To each other, You mean life or death to them every day. Okmogulvungamiu. Vivere Okmogoda Dilaga Okman nom Sangarna. Araleg, my mleg, my blilam de egg, Maru. Malmlovatora, Telelega Marurum Gurtel Vilas. And I can only imagine as well how to, what it's like to be here in the middle of the ocean with the wind and the sun and the moon and the stars, the ocean and complete silence. God's perfect, synchronized nature. No lights, no noise, no traffic, through days and nights on end. I suppose you one can learn a lot about oneself under those very peaceful and serene circumstances. And I admire everybody that came home on this. Indeed, you are all truly blessed. I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Captain Cesario you led a Palawan crew across the vast ocean, and now all of our prayers are answered. You brought back our Palawan family, all here, safe at home, better and stronger people, then when you all left. Kam Sula, Kam Garto. And finally, on behalf of uh, Speaker Sabino Anastasio and all of us in the House of Delegates 11th Olvira Galulab, welcome home. Congratulations on complete, completing your journey and thank you, Consular Rui. Well, we have to thank the delegate from Aimelik for removing the, the rain. This is the tradition. And when we came this morning, this afternoon, um, someone asked me, uh, our, our president asked me, uh, Mr. C, Adelbai, can you make sure that you remove the rain for this occasion? 
Uh, and that's because I'm married to Sophie, who is from I'm League. And I told him, I've used all my quotas, you know, <laughs> don't work anymore. Uh, but, you know, um, what a wonderful afternoon. Mr. President, I, I would like to make an announcement to everyone here. From your Rupul Belau. The Malgal Tangatra O Ledra Yad Joseph Snabau, Nalgela Senator Snabau Nartialo Banget. Yad Joseph Snabau has been accepted to the United States Naval Academy. And I think that's something that we as Palauans uh, should be proud of. We wish him good voyage. May the winds uh, fill his sail as he goes to this very special school in the United States. Uh, and congratulations, uh, Senator Snabau, to you and your family. Um, you know, uh, President Ogredew, when we Palauans gather, we, we, we like to praise one another and compliment one another. But the gathering is not fulfilled to the max, or the cup does not overflow with compliments unless and only unless a foreigner, a special guest, will come and say a few words to cheer you up and to compliment you. So we are really blessed today that we have with us the Honorable Yap Van Hirden, the United Nations resident, UN Resident Coordinator, multi-country office in Micronesia that Palau falls under, happens to be here. And what a great pleasure that we can welcome him to come and say a few remarks on the occasion of this voyage. May we have your presence, sir. I was honored just now to listen to very inspirational speeches. Um, mine will not be as impressive, right? And as much from the heart and understanding what's really there. Mine is from the outside looking in. Uh, and it's, I'm truly amazed uh, and I'm truly honored to be part of all of this. Uh, revert traditional leaders of the, and you have to apologize me for speaking Palau and not in the right way. Uh, Rubikul Belau, Council of Chiefs, uh, His Excellency Surangal Whips Jr., President of the Republic of Palau, and thank you so much for acknowledging me as well. Uh, members of the uh, Palau National Congress, again, I have some difficult words here. It's Olbil Er A Kelulau. Honorable leaders from various state governments, members of the diplomatic corps, ladies and gentlemen, Ali, I am honored to say a few words in recognition of the remarkable journey undertaken by Master Navigator Cesario Cyrilwar and his crew among the Alingano Machu. A journey that highlighted their navigational expertise and the importance of preserving this centuries-old culture. A journey that celebrated the cultural diversity that makes up Micronesia and the strength that can be found through collaboration and unity between the islands. A journey that demonstrates the resilience of ancestral cultures that used the sea as a means to travel. Ancient cultures with travelers whose legacy endures through the passing of generations, through traditions. And I have to tell you, friends and colleagues, the water is coming because I'm from the Netherlands, which is a low-lying country, and we love rain. And when we came to Pompeii in FSM, they said, listen, Yep, there is only one place, I think, that receives more rain than your country, and that is Pompeii in FSM. So for me, this is like I'm feeling home. So I don't mind standing in the rain. I'm truly enjoying it. Uh, indeed, it is important to conserve and promote non-instrumental navigation methods. Methods that were demonstrated by Alingano, Maisu Voyage, bridging the past with the present. In bringing this event and celebration of traditions to fruition, I wish to acknowledge and honor 
the collaborative spirit of the community members and the commitment of the Micronesian Voyaging Society. It is evident that your traditions are the heartbeats of your communities, connecting you to your roots in ways that deserve our utmost admiration. I particularly appreciate the balance you achieve between preserving your heritage while promoting greater understanding beyond the yeah while promoting while promoting greater understanding beyond the pacific such a balance is truly admirable in concluding um, sorry i misspoke a little bit and i think it's important that i do actually phrase it properly uh, I skipped uh, a few sentences. Please allow me to rephrase what I was about to say. I particularly appreciate the balance you achieved between preserving your heritage and embracing progress, a balance that holds lessons for all of us. Thank you for allowing me to share in this priceless event. Also for my family, please thank you. I'm very grateful for my wife and our young son to also be part of this. Thank you for inviting my family too. Uh, and to learn more about your culture and traditions. Your dedication to preserving your heritage while promoting greater understanding beyond the Pacific is truly admirable. In concluding, I wish to applaud Alingano Maisu, Master Navigator Cesario, and their crew for their incredible accomplishments. Your strong commitment shows the power of cultural heritage in shaping our present and our future. Thank you, Mr. Lang. Thank you. Well, most of all, the Malol ke dara rokjelela program bergit. Tingarnya di te testal. Awe rabo do mudong ringel nextel mo mudadu. Di ko ay sergit lo asesel bol mrektiak program. Asesario Mark Prurni. A Maldi Mobo Bertian, a Molitra President, a Maradra Voyaging Society, a Buk Masia Singer Tilo Mungel, a Tirahuk Morsel Vitara Rubul Velam, a Buk Masia Singer Til, a Boragin Enger Til, a Pestal Boda Pildir, a Boda Tara, a Boda Rabi. On a room, a Nanya Sesel Galel Gilt Mokla, a Voyaging Society, a President of Mamra, a El Siasel, a Sebel Guadiom de Bod, a Omar Mudra, a Bolmrektal Program. Aktirekel mo lngi tra ngi dil ad masel bol mrek a program e bol mrek o malal sa sing e malal sa pil mong mas el mo sorry itial el el mlit o ang buk mong dengli a kita mo dengli wase a madeng rebuko dam latal lo mga lert yang bal mo dengli gel lungil du sa lert ngi ding malungil ar magigrel ada bol mas e bol oro so I was just saying that we're coming to the close of our program after the Cesario and his crew make a presentation. And after our chief bill uh, closes the program, we're going to have a photo up here with uh, His Excellency the President, the members of the Senate and the House, the governors and the chiefs. It's a memorious, memor memor memorious day that we want to capture uh, for, for the future. Also, we invite ev everyone who are interested to board the canoe and tour it. So I have a surprise for everybody. My surprise is comes from my powers as the master of ceremony, you know? Uh, so I want to recognize my friend Jay Henry visiting us from Guam and his wife. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, secondly, I want to recognize um, Ms. Dr. Elaine Wong and Martin Stroka from Metropolis that have joined us. We also have some friends from Rhode Island and Jerusalem that are joining us. Let's welcome them as well. Um, I must say thank you, Honorable um, Hirden. What an inspiring statement. What an inspiring speech. And you really touched our hearts with the, the message that you gave to us, and we want to thank you. Now, as for the surprise uh, uh, speech from a very special friend, um, I would like now to call upon the former President Johnson Toribion to come and say a few words. He didn't even know that he was going to speak. <laughs> Mr. President, would you please come forward and say a few words with your wise uh, counsel. Thank you, Mr. President.
Ekwate alle gure nga sulela. Unsias Shermet Pisong, ma members ra Micronesian Voyaging Society. Aru bungul bela ul martial kura mengali memang. Mengi daur tel sikat. Mara rum tera senet mahaus. Amara president surang. Wips Jr. As the master of ceremony said, I was not expected to say anything on this occasion, but to, he, to be here to observe the proceedings and to express my respect to the master navigator and the crew who sailed long distances across the Pacific. I believe ancient knowledge combined with modern science and technology, complement each other. I here to praise and to honor the people who were responsible to make the teaching of ancient knowledge of navigation part of our knowledge and culture this date. I am like the uh, The delegate from Imalik State who said that he has never sailed and were he to sail on this canoe it will be a big problem to the master navigator and the crew because he'll be a big problem. He'll be uh, seasick, throwing up, missing his bottle of beer or wine and counting days to return home. I, for one, has never sailed outside of Palau. But my brother Francis did. He sailed for some 40 some days from here to all the islands ending up on Saipan. And he told me that when landscape disappeared, you feel that it's only the Almighty God and yourself in your life is at the mercy of our Creator. So thank you for inviting me over and thank you for asking me to speak without any advanced preparation. And therefore, I'd like to say thank you, Master Navigator. He's a great, I think he, he would go down in the history as one of the greatest men to ever come to our islands to teach us how to sail in a trans-oceanic voyage. Because we Palawans, historically, are not great navigators, I have to be honest. We have a big lagoon, islands very close to each other. So for our sea that to sail from Yap to Palau, even though it's a close distance, and the Yapis used to sail here to carve their stone money from the Rug Islands, to us, he's a great navigator. Imagine those who sailed from here through the islands to Saipan and back. So thank you for inviting me. I'm here, I'm very proud of you. I want to say thank you, Mr. Uh, Edpison, Dr. Yano, Alan Seed, Ephraim and all others. And I hope you enjoyed my speech. Thank you very much. May God bless all of you. Safe travels home where you come from. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, for your kind words. It has come to that moment in our program that we welcome none other than the master navigator himself. Yes. Cesario. 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 You're wanted on the stage. And if you don't mind, I would like to prove I would like all the crew to come and stand behind the master navigator while he gives his statement. Ako ng ito tigre robo il mlara bakal matamerule la asesario el boldo se sel el dal girel tial el sil sergid e sola ay bodreng sa al dal girel tial omrael ma putang le bisualo ay se vice speaker sa us tial omrael at yaka dilblel sa alang arngi. Larnyan ngar ka da dil lul makal. E malt mar ngur le elis ba ab ek lubang ar klay. President ta ulder agal mo mister ar governors. E ulugit tulbasem ar governors. 
marubugul belau bol direct mengel tiak program e bol sebel tiak program se del gu kul morai gal state e lolis akran gerel sa al merdir rai gal state del gu masuber te gi del tokora bal mal mar mudra ga ben nors ngar te lo ben gedel o yang te gi del urdas tirga lo gudra rubugul belau tirga gi tirgel lul mgal e mebu aisam these are the people that sailed on the voyage and um let me tell you from experience, it is not an easy thing to do. You're on the canoe, you're exposed to the elements, you're exposed to the wind, you're exposed to the sun, and you have a small space. Uh, but as everyone say, the words of the master navigator are the words to follow. Uh, just before I yield the floor to Cesario, as I was sailing with his father, we had many days and many nights so that I could ask him questions. And um, one day, um, we're sailing out, out of Yap and the wind was so fresh and the, wind, the, the air was so clean. I guess there was not even a single IRA pollution out there. And then all of a sudden, Mao Pialuk, Pialuk lit up a cigarette. I remember it was a camel cigarette and I could smell the cigarette and I told Mao, I said, Mao, cigariot lotov, which means cigarette is not good in Hebrew. So I see my friends from Israel. I did practice my Hebrew out at sea. But one of the stories I want to share before Cesario comes forward is the outer islands Master navigators, in addition to learning to sail and to follow the stars and to master the canoe and the voyage, are also well known in the Pacific as very grand masters in martial arts. And so they have taught a few Palawans and they have exercised these uh, skills of martial arts, but also healing. And the martial arts are very unique. Uh, they just basically dislocate a shoulder or dislocate the neck and then someone will lay low. It's really not for heal or for fighting, but for a purpose. So I asked Mao, Mao, do you use this martial arts skills to fight the enemy when they try to, to take over the canoe? Or when you go to an unfriendly island, you have to defend yourself with these skills? And the answer was very unique. He said, no, Alan, the main purpose is to prevent mutiny on the bounty, mutiny on the canoe. Because sometimes the young men think the old man has lost his way. There's a big storm and they want to take over the, the klamat, which is the sail, to lead the voyage. And if he allows them to do that, they will lose their way and the children and the women will perish in the, in the voyage. So the martial arts was a stronger young man comes to take the helm. They would dislocate his shoulder and put him in the canoe to lay in the canoe, unable to move until they reach their destination. And then he would fix him again without killing him. So that was the main purpose. So I just know that, Mao, um, that my friend Cesario, he's a master in the navigation, but he's also a master of martial arts. But I learned a little more from his father than he. So. I'm okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may we please present Cesario to say a few words. Please. Good afternoon, Ali. Um, I would like to first pay my respect to our Paramount Chiefs, uh, Chief Raklai and uh, Abdul, His Excellency, President of the Republic of Palau, um, Surang Alwip Jr., all the uh, government leaders, all the chiefs of Palau, and the whole community of Palau. Secondly, I would like to pay my respect to this land of our ancestors that we use today to celebrate this special event. Um, just to share a little bit of our voyage. Well, once you step on the canoe, 
you know, we call it Takeni, he's, he's our mother, navigator is our father, and nationality doesn't matter, doesn't matter where you come from, we're all the kids, we're all the children of the canoe. So once you step on the canoe, we all one family. So we work together to accomplish our voyages. So this voyage was a little bit challenge because some of my students, they said, uh, teacher, we thought that um, August is so close and that's the bad month that we, we were not supposed to sail. I said, yep, we're departing at the end of April. We'll try to beat the time and which is we delayed in Yap just for a little bit. And then we have to skip some of the islands that we need to go to just to make it on time before our typhoon season starts. And which is some of my students fully understand that you know, each month we do have the storm starts that we look at to predict our weather. So we do have two seasons of one season for sailing, one season it's not good for sailing. So we use that to teach in the classroom, which is this month to December. We teach in the classroom, January. That's when we start foraging. And then we have much time before August. Because August is, I believe most of my students understand that it's the Southern Cross is creating storm. And most of the storm stars are lining up right next to it. So that's why we usually have Westerly wind all, until November because it's all these fighting stars that they're creating storms. So it should be westerly wind all the way to November. So you know, we, as we depart Palau, Mr. President Patrick Tele was saying that you know the typhoon took all our wind, so we got stuck between here and Yap. Uh, I believe that we most likely stationary in one place until we ran out of water. Uh, when I saw that we only have a few containers left, so I, I have to limit, tell the crew, slow down water until I ask you to serve the water. So we made it to Ngali to resupplies, went to Yap, and we made it to Setoal. We skipped two islands on our way up. Uh, we went to Setoal. And then we had to spend another week because the chiefs asked us if we can stay for the graduation. And which is, I believe, they said, well, you brought luck because you know, they were looking for, it's a small island that, you know, very limited resources. Um, then we brought luck because, you know, they were catching, you know, each day they, they got 800 tuna. So they were able to divide it among the people the whole community, and separate what needs to be for the graduation fee. So we spend the week there just to celebrate the graduation as they want me to say a little bit about navigation also. So I also gave it to one of the navigators that came with us, Benito Mario, as he's one of the chief from Polot. So then when we depart, it took us, it took us, I believe, more than two weeks to reach to Yap, but from Satwal, as we have a favorable wind, we were able to make it to Saipan, which is 500 some miles in six days. And then from Saipan back to Yap, we were able to make it six days around 700 miles. So from Yap to Ngalu, took us one night. And then from Nguli to here, believe only two and a half days, but it's not, it came out to be four days. It is because we left on Friday, it was a very good wind, calm. But then Friday, uh, Saturday was a storm that we need to put our sail down, put a small one so we can continue sailing. And completely Sunday, whole day, we didn't sail, it's stormy, whole day rain. As you can understand, the crew are stand strong to to whatever I asked them to do so we can move on. I said, uh, thank you for doing all this because if it's not you, then we're not gonna move anywhere. So we need to put ourselves from the biggest sail to the 
smaller one, and to the storm jeep. So they've been doing a hard work um, for the four days that we didn't sail whole day Sunday and the whole night Sunday night. And that's how we came in late to stay. Um, we just sailed on Sunday morning, but using our small sail. So thanks to the crew for you know, taking the orders to keep us moving. Um, I know they're very tired because they're cold, but I have to do something for us to move, to get away from any storms. As we understand that this month, up to December is our storm season. Um, I would like to invite uh, Leslie Willibert, one of my students, Acheda just became my student on the trip. She sailed from here all the way to Saipan. And then uh, Rilan, one of my students that flew in from Palau to join us from up to here to share a little bit of their experience. And they're very strong. They stay under the rain. Uh, okay. Thank you. I know we have um, non Palawan speakers uh, here, but it's. Uh, I just prefer to speak Palawan if that's okay. Matiel Tora Bagal Lobangela Rapinwok, Cesario Seralur, Teulumu Ulra, Amaringi Akmara School, UH Manoe, UH Manoe. I'm a psychology major. 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 I'm a psychology I'm I was in the classroom in the classroom. I Hawaiian Studies requirement to graduate. I was in the first class of Hawaiian Studies. I was in the first class of Hawaiian Studies. I was in the first class of Hawaiian Studies. I was in the first class of Hawaiian Studies. I was in the first class of Hawaiian Studies. I was in the first class ara claim and legal and ngari at oil din din as <laughs> gider other bella wa ise on other am gider lions <laughs> em gider era belura polynesia ai e gida wa da gora imol other ngartial belura pacific oceania ndi gida wa dul bi other ngod el maklol belul me em go mormule ge gida gora bling le del was ngari a polynesia ma micronesia ndi te gider classic planning I was <laughs> class of the 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 class of our blood work did in Mermang. Ming say give them will a tour of Msuba. Em, I will say at Nettiang and Mera, Anya Bleguru Ringi and Maudra, Covid pandemic. E, the Gero Lella School, Makmora PCC, Matigar Cesario, Lara, Rabara Outboard Motor, Magimaro Story, and was a Alboringia at least at the Tar Lara School and said the mood to start the Telo Msuba. Mongero Ram Lamemo at Melsub Ringi. I was in the house and 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 I was 
Abalura Pacific region, Matege the Nilo Kral and Mermang, Akara Rio and Medenwar and Mile was here. I get top of them. Makasim Halinga, I say, I'll miss a take the trip and a bomb, Vespage, and yes, okay, Mother Gimorgel Bulu Oila, Oi, Limlo, I say, Adam Okumula will be a school, Robin Rio, and the same mal tell Tiaset Telu Dash Marina Maldimilu traveling in. Ma got to our real, got to our school, and must any like name the girl was in Nira Moda Maldira Moda El Marut Macri Tial Luldas, Ma Clamaria Ren, Ma Mara Ulu Silgira La Toya voyaging, as a woman Drigata Mac tasting, Drigata Mac Army, Actimu Yababilina, Adam Lamalu Sulme, Adak Moruli, Macmotel Gibel, Maria Clangestera. Omelus. A little back my Toyra store, Marang at Momu, the motor director of Lul Ab, El Mosange, over the Malwagel Omni no Malmirate. Maratel Motels are there, I can, I got low Ixel Gumibais and Wakadigum Tetawatra, other Molelang Angalu Mabelau. Yalak Aluidang Arunga Aluitrang Lu. Out of the swag, I did not like Cray Lump, but Uncle Dirga and Dirga Cray in May. Maggie so is a bit camera, or your own real and little Baka sing around my Maldiac Samaria Lo Messrang Malal. Dirga Alwal, Messel Tri with the Ramal Mlarangi, Erura Ramla Memo, Ma one, um, sorry, Eru Sander Amla Memo, and the Rear Temlamo Eru Lodi with a mal mal Dirga Ratal Dirga Matmok, Mal Mangam Lamatu de Elam. Mac Plaming Elura. Accessario, if more, if more, more tall, long as I got a next and yes, and the cult mock and the other next year, the cult mock and Momarella. Matia di Murgol, Matora, Teltora Bella di Murgol, Abangel, I guess, for the rest of my life. Because Seldon and Abulura, Honolulu, Salmal Rabizi Lina, there are my connection and more art. Madau Rior, Madanga School, the Rora and Goradin Arangi Selgo Olmasongas, the Galway Selden Abelwadel, the Tura Surangaling, Actit Mur de Lun Wooder and Tit Tobel, Marparking Latin Guktar Angoman, Segit Amal will see Gringi, a Malgram Loroi, the Nigan Nomenal Rura, a Seregibor Angalu, Melme George, and Gagil Gora Adat Kel, La Tol, Logan Tritrigal Tedel Nal, Memugar Mam. In Segit Feltaren, there are those Peaudo, there are exchange. Segit Feltaren, we can mammal most of his, my gimli mamur, ma'am. I wish King Maldacotor, Emmanuel, and our Segit Talgosus, a Tiral Nalgar Murton Mewa say, Ah, Cobanga mammal mochera well, Mako oi, Martilum Rebusum, you at the Melas and Namate Medelmo, or Multra well, Yagibang at Kaulayan. Matia Burbital Gareger, Matia Lol Mangawel, Lome Elangis, and Tirgar Malga. There is no other paradise except the Melangal Tangatel, La Adra Micronesia. Mandimor Seigidia, a disorder as Sule, Imor Ruba, Amle, a Maragi, Kira Blura, Maram Lorora, Mayao Lubangela, Masa Ulibert, Maru, Akitaya, Ulibert, Mane Imor Ruba, Maria Ranclel, Ruba Yuliti. Sera Cotel Mom de la Nuga, Maragil, the Marubara, Kim de la Ramura Vilni Madalara Aramaril Yagido Aramda la Tora Bla de Lara, Amlomel Motta Maria Umulella, Udalera, Ramaril, and Mong, Maggie Mortel Blai. Yawurin Saragora di Tiagi de Darabai, Magura Radamala, the Marubara de Mara was a singer, and yes, and Ruba and Arabail, Melasa Lima. Makdam ok, leh tidak ada makin sedar memesan, yang ia se ngaham ada dua ramas, kom alat kelala mengurut yang mukul. Yang ngaham kira kira kalau mengurut dua ramas nak ramai rile ngaham kira kira kalau mau otter rubber amrong la, ayat chips of wood, aku rata tele tele la, aku rata dua ramas yang aku rata al 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 alaus al carpet, aku rata dia 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 kalau boleh siwa ayat dalam oleh aku rata di. Mahmalo mestrinya sesengara, ya uru lagi moral nak kasih bapa ngamet apa serba deh sanggir uba, ni sesengara sanggir uba ka, amak sanga deh kacau dong sanga lagi, ya aktif 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 lagi teman gua ikan mung, eserak pon yang gisangil Maria yang kaki tinggi uba gayu litil, tinggi orang kan antir ngalwasir, 
عم لارا بغل المل مارا الرميدة المسرة طويلة عم لوقر المسرة فايوايوا يا لناس إن غا مريل من ذي مرغل ما أبقيل That was the romanticized idea Actually ملي أدرا فوسفيت مايننين غرا 1950s نجي قدرو باغا ملقتي وسنجي غرا وملاس الملاي اللي سيرا قبر عرباي إن تغذلا لغر غار ال نغرا مدال يا ذي لغة رنية غتي متي إن يا ذي مجي غوغي لذي الموجي ذي ملاس التوتال مقلوسي التوتال مقلوسي سي كذا ملقيلك ملقيلك كليت تاي كذا تلمريا الرين مان مال تراك لبسين جيري غل مايولي تي بي ماي ريسبكت سلمورا ماريا وما المسؤولة غرا تي أل والسياس ما جي مال سلك ناس أتي الملاي مال جا هذا تغلك مدينة لوسين غروبا غا تلقى تلقى بلال مدينة لندير مو دخل سال سوق سال ميوس باي سوق سال غرا غدي القبرول المؤتو الطاية ذا نار سال لاست الأيد اللي ذا القبرول الموبي سبوس ما أذرو مجي Engin alam lak mga kumdik pergi na sila langgang ngara mekne teknik ngi ruba. Mang segi de logi wala langgal me engar ngi sel kalorin yung alsia sa lasa kang artiang makmongral toko yung maki magasakla. Ego duro kliya ngi sa wal me. Mang akmal wala ngi talo sa chan Micronesian Voicing Society please. Molo molo ma ma arang alagad marang alagad arang alagad dala mga mitiang aling hindi ka ngod almo take kira a distress. Mai gel ni a agora mumbling na toko na klas. Alway sel o mga raptil sel dia le. Kaya mga takle laga aldi may it's okay. Ni din nga ni sa ikit al you le al kora. Obra o del melmong, obra o del melmong di way aklangar. Obra o del melmong, obra o del melmong yung daytorio. Malway sel arte o mera hulu hulu. Yung ad adu adon da ad to do talo ko toko na leaving your footprints behind. There will be no footprints behind ever. There will just be memories. floating islands. We're just here on a temporary existence. Hi everyone, my name is Jada Rabalaman. My mom is Madan Sarangirangas. My dad is Mark Rabalaman. Uh, before I share my experience, just want to pay respect to our traditional leaders, President Whips, and uh, the rest of the other um, government leaders that are here. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Excuse me. Um, I don't even know where to start. It was such a journey. I'm grateful for my captain and my crew and all the memories that we were able to make. Um, it was challenging, not gonna lie to you, but it was worthwhile. Um, I had a really great time experiencing the ocean, nature really, with my captain and all his knowledge and visiting all the different islands that we were able to go to is really special for me because I've never really been anywhere else except for Guam. So visiting Yap, Sarawal, and Saipan was amazing for me to see the different cultures, experience different foods. But um, probably the highlight of this voyage for me was, oh, so sorry. I only sailed from, only, <laughs> I sailed from Palau to, to Saipan, but then I flew back because I stayed in Saipan for a couple weeks to be with my family. And uh, yeah, in the beginning, of, on the first few legs of the voyage, there were um, 11 of us, but eight of us were under 30. I'm 26. It was just me and three other ladies, Katsu, and my Auntie Gregoria, we would cook meals for the boys, make sure, I mean, for all of us, of course, <laughs> and make sure that uh, they stay on top of everything and don't slack off and have too much fun because this is survival. <laughs> um, 
I just want to thank my captain for allowing me to be one of his students. And if anybody has the chance to sail, I really hope that you do. It changed my life. And I feel very humbled to have been able to experience this. Thank you. Um, uh, good evening, my name is Rilang Roberto. I am a teacher at Palau Community College. I decide to be to be part of this trip because I took class with my captain and so for two semesters so that's about 16 weeks times two I was able to identify my fears and remove them so when I went on this trip I was not afraid I was full on my family on the other hand did not think so and so they tried to persuade me to stay but I told them, this is just like any normal PCC trip that I go to. Just go and come back. And so that's what I told them. And I'm very grateful for my family. I come from uh, Ngarbeeth, which is right up over there, and from Angar. I'm very grateful for my family because I know they probably suffered a lot because I went on a trip. They had a lot of stress, stomach ulcers. but. And uh, also the people from church that I know of, from work, from community, I thank you for their prayers and for their good thoughts on behalf of my myself and my captain and my crew. So, and another thing that I want to thank, uh, my express my gratitude to is for my heavenly Father. For those who don't know me, I'm quite a spiritual person. And so this trip has uh, elevated my spirituality. I went on a trip uh, with a prayer that everything's going to be okay. And I trust that my God will protect me. And he did. And so throughout this trip, when the storm was raging, my prayers were more of uh, not of my anxiousness. It was more toward bless my crew, that they may have the guts to uh, change the sails, that they may have the energy to withstand the, the sleepless nights, bless this boat, that I'm able to stay put and get, get us to Palau. And so I feel that God was part of our trip, as well as our my papa who passed away, Ben Roberto, as well as all our ancestors. And so not only that, but their families were also praying in behalf of us our family in Palau and also their ancestors and my ancestors. So it is a spiritual trip because it connects me to both God, both my family, my ancestors, and both to my family, my newfound family. So now I'm, I'm a Palauan, it's Las Yapis, it's Las uh, Satawal. Uh, I have family in Yap, I have family in Satawal. And uh, I'm looking forward for next trip so I can have more family in the other outer islands, in the other FSM islands. I'm very grateful to be part of this trip because um, I always feel Palauans and FSM and all its FSM are special in some way or another. And this trip had made that uh, clear to me. And so this is a start, and I'm working with President Tele of a start of this newfound uh, love for my people and be able to uh, give back my knowledge and my skills to these people and in a way to exchange also knowledge and skills from them. So I'm very grateful for everyone and for the time and for my wonderful crew. Uh, I, I gained a lot, 11 more family uh, that are um, strong in bond and in oneness, unity. And you can never sail without trust and love and we became a family overnight. And uh, thank you, everyone. Well, I would say that's very inspiring to hear from this, um, you know, culture and times have changed. Normally, it would be all the men talking about the boys, but now it's all the women. That's how advanced Palau is, right? <laughs> um, at this time, I'd like to call uh, uh, Chief Beo, on behalf of the Rubul Belau uh, to come and 
say the last uh, words to close our program. And Bill Mutral me do clame the Momosimertial program. Mam Saule Bill. Malungilo le dan al tela silis. En si, mouspe a yel trol de apfel. Kina tial, lo volpe lao. Me join el gomio a la membresa society. E mga matawal. E otkeo ti alombrae. Hundred days a diagal kadeb el taem. E dire del diagal beot el tukoy. Mga 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 pagkatak lo ase. Kida rather be lao. Abay de di la sabi il take over la pagal la tao. Egi dah sana apa yang murah saya sekarang murah masih. Segi dah aku meser ni presiden pisong mami member sa society. Kira dah lama masih si lo si kerap begel pelau civil mortal tukar apa kal. Tergel tiga lo kul pelau lengan si. Sera lo sigra a del me modo du e to asi. Taka ko lo ulao. Yo asi a veo a mo le entribe lo ma la temer a baga la tao. Ndi so a lo ay se gomil lo asi. Ko ko mga la e, tendi a ko mga la e galo uya se le telgipen me outra ru. Mung agi mo tel mal mga mga dao ra Captain Cesarium Tigal Crew, tiada mal merengah sulit. Klesi elar ini, ilmu adat terkubur sih. Rapakan rata beri tu nomer belau. Tiada kadang merengah sulit elu. Tiada udar belau, kita mungkin luas ya Captain ada alat udar belau. Tiada udar belau, lubang pel belau, murai kerja aku ilun sebelorgi, ilmu teritu dengan berbelau. Jaga angkut tol mal sebegal, lagi di mereka sulir la tiad lomrae la ma tiad working society, la umat maklul. Yo lagi tu luasai do mal men milisi irni, di do lase men losi kerjigal. Orang alkal cial, sebil murtial, lomsu berapa kali lah tau, leng pikir kalau bodoh aja, delegat rai melid, elok tim ngat mau kerengi provide on rau, elak a sebil murat tau, di kaki tak tunge MC mal mereka suri urugun, pemsula. We have come to the end of our ceremony. I want to thank you for your patience and for hearing all the comments that have been made today, especially the ones from the Cesario and his, uh, several of his crew. Um, in closing, I would like to say um, to our diplomatic corps, especially our good friend, um, Ambassador Ori Kasasang, when Palau became independent in 1994, several of um, the members of Congress, um, uh, including myself, went to visit Japan. Uh, Chief Rigam Sik was the speaker of the House of Delegates at the time. And um, we had a reception by the Japan Parliamentary Associ Friendship Association. And uh, the speaker at the time asked me to say a few words, and I just came up with something. I said, Palau has launched its journey as an independent nation, and we are embarking on our journey to reach our destination as a sovereign and developing island. But in every journey, you have to look up to the stars.
to know your way and to find your way. I said at the time that Japan is a bright star that Palau can look upon. Today I say Japan, Australia, the United States, Taiwan, you are all bright stars in our journey for development and we thank you. May we give our diplomatic corps a round of applause for their support and their presence. Thank you. In closing, I also want to um, thank um, uh, one young man um, who's been very helpful. Wong, would you raise your hand? Wong Yalap, he's been helping us. Thank you for your help. And, and um, in closing, on behalf of the Micronesian Voicing Society, I'd like to announce that on the 24th, and please, uh, Mr. Tori Byong, mark your calendar, in the evening at 7 o'clock at Palaysia Hotel, which is a Thursday, we are going to invite many of you to come to our fundraising to help keep this program alive. We hope to see you then and during that evening. We will show some photographs of the journey and the voyage, but this is a way to help one another to keep this program uh, going forward so that it, we have fuel to the fire to keep this project alive. So, so so don't forget, we have some hors d'oeuvres, some pizza, some uh, appetizers. Uh, feel free to help yourself. And uh, let's just mingle for a little bit and take some photos. But thank you for coming. God bless you. God bless the Republic of Palau. God bless Angilong, uh, Alinga no Maisu and its crew. God bless the Micronesian Voicing Society. Thank you so much. Sil Sagoman Sulang Radra TMC, Tial Programmer Gidra Micronesian Voicing Society, Tegidrong Rat, Tial Togor Abral, Gimal Mara Mamling, Maltor Adron Sir Mamra, Rerel Tiang, and Saula PCC, Direct Mam Saula, President, Officer President, Maolvida Mulau, the Tegidronia Hobbit, I give level on rule of fundraising, and the Lonia Hobbit Mongo Dagal Sebet, the Tegidron Hotel Tial Bral and Dartma, the Nil Club Say. Martol Miguel Adam Namomal, Namo, or Otelo Asetia Wiltro, Gired and Melmol Melon Surgi, Alsa Ligra, President Ramam, Mr. Pison, Amal Masao, Nima, Doctor Yano, Directly Dimal Katka, Mamad and Abu, the Matsual Mutia Tale Malbrena Sulel of Gudra Clay, Baol Nia, Kubak, Gay Agora Otilia Lurio, Gay Malon Sur Mamra, Gelbora Wilu Clat, Mat Direct Malbrena Sulel. Ding so mam lo ay sosing bonya fundraising ng gita may American Voicing Society dal lui may awal kap singila el albuil tigil gup mosapil ader bela may other siya imol sense al well masuki dra kaya kita program ng git mal di kaya kita tung mal tumar ng utra arwa sa sario mar dal lamo tuo ader bela ay mom liwek rasaybal ay mera tigal mga relyon sa blue labe mura blue labe may gita lo ring ring sa tigal typhoon ma. Abtogol store metira maldim de unila bralil mermei matmar ng udor tira matmar ng asulera ruba. Yep mate alum sa president ramam ang elsas mo boldo sa say. Alay ko matmasaula TMC mo sa mule film tial program nila since ngayon ng asuliw tial programa mual skida pisil armut la sa po dosul ba igaltoy. Maria Teala Suede Supra, Cesario Nian Arbelo, and the program of PCC. We have a lot of the show. And so, we have a lot of the people who are in the field. We have a lot of the people who are in the PCC and roll for the program. We have a lot of the people who are in the field. Tak apa tukar mulai dengan nanti. Asal beri artian tu boleh bayar muka sasa. Jadi dengan mesti saya mau kira boleh kira belau. 
Och så vet du, så fick jag så. Jag fick alla det här på mat. Så sa jag, det är en av mig som är på Och då säger jag att jag inte behöver smitta mig mot hjälp. Och så vet jag att jag inte behöver smitta mig mot hjälp. Jag har inte kunnat känna vad jag tänkte säga. Jag har blivit approachad av PCC i 2007. Jag har blivit hjälp till att välja mig att jag inte behöver smitta mig mot hjälp. Jag har blivit hjälp till att välja mig. Sel dulu mai konisial merbelau, ya cialum ma terkaji dal founder selama mai konisian boleh cing society amle es keluar se, api sisi boleh imori implement terkaji dal boleh, magi mula urur ngira last 14 years, so the first half of the year, engan ya classroom instruction, ome sabtu star gazing, waves, current, storm stars, emergong esel Second half of the year, normally from February to July, is the sailing season. The Mergong is open, but we are going to be able to participate. The Mora Front Officer of the PCC is signed around the club. And after working hours, the Sisul Time is still working on the boat. The Mergong is still in school, and the Mergong is still in blue. The Mergong is still in student certificate, so we are going to have a sailing experience. We are going to be able to do it. Hindi, di sa akal po ang mga taglilo kasi asesaryo ng Arbelao ang Boiting Society ang provider na Blil at direkal Blil kaya PCC ang employer ng mangkikigil student ng right hand ng kaya ang staff ng PCC hindi sila nga rin ang Boet kaya focus ng tila ng Boet Agi direkal sa akal ang perti alti alam rin ang asulel ang Olvira ang Lulao ang Maong erura raga al provide support al mga niya fundraising al wise level announcer ngin bing niya basic al support al provide national congress logio appropriation al bira kalulaw maubisa tosi. Yeah, my name is Panos Kyrnidis. I am the honorary consulate of the Republic of Palau to Greece, and also I am the CEO of the International Shipping Registry of the Palau International Shipping Registry. We we enjoyed the the event. Today, uh, it was very informative and uh, amazing. I am Greek, uh, fourth generation of uh, shipping family, and uh, we know about the uh, seafaring, but this is a different um, traditional uh, aspect of navigation. Um, I'm here with my family, with my wife and kids, and we really enjoyed the history and the um, techniques of navigation, sharing their experiences. It was very amazing for us. Uh, for us, it was a lesson. It was, um, we learned how uh, the um, elder people navigated between the, the islands, and uh, it was um, very encouraging that uh, although that this um, knowledge has been lost for a number of years uh, with, a, with a team effort uh, it appeared that uh, it has been uh, revamped and uh, we are very um, excited seeing young people being uh, involved into this uh, process and the collaboration between the Macedonian uh, society uh, and the uh, Palau Community College it has been, it is a very um, encouraging uh, message that they pass that uh, with a team effort, with a team work, uh, the dream can work. Thank you, sir. Hi, my name is Jada Rabalaman. I'm a crewmate member of Alingano Maisu. I'm 26 years old. The voyage was a life changing experience and definitely worthwhile. I got to see so many beautiful sunsets, sunrises, all the stars, the different phases of the moon. Um, okay, to the youth, if you ever get the opportunity to sail, I encourage you to do so, because if you think about it, it's a lot more natural than flying. We're not meant to be in the air. We're ocean people. Why wouldn't you make time to explore your ocean? Sure. Uh, my name is Jaap van Eden. I'm the resident coordinator for the United Nations in the North Pacific in Micronesia. It was just incredible. I mean, to be invited, you know, to this event, 
uh, on the arrival of the Maisu and then to listen, you know, how the navigational uh, knowledge of the past was being uh, resurrected uh, and applied in practice. And to see young people learning about this, that was just priceless. Thank you.